Me and Gigi are out there making it another great day. Yes, we are. We're at the museum. We're at the Manello Museum of American Art. Yes. And they have rotating exhibit here. They have one permanent exhibit, but the majority of the building is rotates to different artists every four months. Every four months. And the building used to be a person's home. Yes. Which is so cool. It's awesome. It's awesome. And... Uh, this is a little unique museum. There's a lot of museums in Orlando. Right. And we're going to take you to as many as those and other shops. But today, let's go look at some art. All right, let's go. Before we go in this museum, Gigi, this is awesome, this tree. I'm in heaven. This tree is just phenomenal. What, it's incredible. Well, what's interesting, Gigi, is the the branches go all the way out, but when the, all the branches drop down, go under the ground, and then they come back up out of the ground. You could see the branches go down into the ground and come back up. Yeah, you can see them over there. They, all of them, the branches are grow grow right into the ground, and they pop right back up out of the ground, which is absolutely incredible. Right out here in front of the Manello Museum of American Art. Out here in this garden, Gigi, they have some metal people out here, and it looks like maybe they've been to band camp. I'm not sure. It does look like it, doesn't it? Gigi, there's a lot of welded metal out here. Yes, there is. It's <laughs> By Paul Marco. So they have a lot of artwork out here in this garden area. This is pretty cool. Is pretty before cool. we go inside. Yes, it is pretty cool. There's another one down here. Look at these big see. sculptures back here, Gigi. Yes. That looks like a big shell back here. The flowers are not in, uh, blossoming because it's not in season, but it's a beautiful, gigantic It's a tree. it's uh, a lot of greenery there here in the winter, yes. and you, it's a magnolia tree. Remember when George Washington cut down that magnolia tree? <laughs> I believe it was cherry. I thought it was cherry. Me and Gigi are trying to figure out these metal sculptures. This one looks like maybe some kind of African African thing here maybe. And she says this one looks like a chicken. And I think this one here, I think we have spotted. Like a school teacher. He looks like a school teacher, but he kind of looks like John Lennon maybe from the Beatles. What do you think? A little bit. I see the glasses going on. And there are several parts of this outside garden here by the museum. It's totally went to the dogs. Absolutely, totally went to the dogs. Now, Gigi, this one right here to me looks like maybe a satellite dish, but uh, the sign up in the front said it was the Twin Vortex. Oh, maybe from that video game Crash, the Twin Vortex. I don't know, but it it's pretty interesting. All these spirals here in this thing. It's very neat. It's moving though, like. Well, it's a, it's a little windy out here too. Let's go over here and check out this big shell. Yeah, this one right here does look like a big shell. Uh, it's very cool. And this is out here on the grounds of the Manolo, Manello, Manello Museum, uh, American Fine Art. Here is a little overview of the garden. There's the spiral vortex, and uh, the one looks like the big shell, and the big, big hanging moss overlooking the lake here. And it's a little windy here, but it's an absolutely incredible looking tree. Gigi is going to take a picture of this tree because she just thinks it's absolutely gorgeous and I do too. We're getting ready to walk inside here. Well Gigi, we are in the Manello Museum yes, of American Art yes. and this is Grace, Grace Hardig Hardigan. H Hardigan. Hardigan and the Perry Collection and uh, this exhibit doesn't open until January 19th I'm not sure when we're going to have this up, but it might be up by then. But uh, this is kind of a preview. We got a little preview here. So we don't know what we're talking about because each of these, we don't know what the names of these are. But uh, these are some fabulous looking. We do know. We, we do know From some. 1960 to 1965 art only. So yeah, we just, don't, we just don't know the names of each no, piece, no. which that would be great. Uh, but yeah, these are some very cool abstracts and paintings. Let's go check some more of these out. Okay. Oh, look, he actually made this. This was done May 13, 1962, when she 
she actually finished the painting. That is a lot of nice colors in that one. I really like that piece. The ones we saw when we came in are pretty incredible as well. We're going to look at those too. The paintbrush, as you can tell, she's splash. It's really neat. Yeah, this piece right here, Gigi. This piece right here. Absolutely that amazing. It reminds me of a Peter Max painting. <laughs> Peter Max does a lot of the bright colors, the fluorescent colors. And this painting is just amazing. It's beautiful. It's huge, too. It is big. It's on canvas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is on canvas, too. It's amazing. It's a beautiful piece, beautiful piece. You see a lot of different things in that. Uh, I always wonder what goes through the mind of the artist, for real. Since I'm an art lover, I collect a lot of art, and I know how expensive art can be. This is just beautiful. Look, maybe up there, it might be a little coffee cup, or something like that. This is a female figure here. Uh, so it's it's just the congestion and the action that you will see in a, a mall. I can see that. Yeah, uh-huh. Very nice. And see, that's what you'll be able to tell when you have the um, labels up there. You'll be able to read what she was trying to express. I think that painting is very interesting to me. I always wonder what goes in the mind of an artist. When I see this, pers pers what is it? Perspective. Pers pers <laughs> you need hooked on phonics. Hooked on phonics. My perception of this particular painting, it's almost dark. It's almost like she was depressed. Maybe she lost a family member. That's the vibe I'm getting off of this painting. But that's me alone. Somebody else can come and say, oh my God, I love this painting. It's so cool. Even though I think it is beautiful. It is cool. But I do find it to be a little bit more dreary than the rest of her paintings. It's really, really interesting. Gigi's in think mode. I love, I love art. I, tell you I know. I'm a huge I do too. Kind of I do too. She did say that the next room we're going into stays the same always. The rest of the exhibit, she explained to us, changes um, every four months. But this room we're going into right now, I'm going to call it the gray room because it's got the little gray outline here. Never changes. These here look almost like um, Mary Blair uh, that did the artwork at the Contemporary at Disney. Remember Mary Blair with the tiles? That's, yeah, it looks like something Mary Blair would do. This here statue looks something like it might have been off the, the boat the Titanic or something. It's all decked out in gold and stuff. So it's very interesting. This looks like a Titanic piece. Now these are from 1961 here, Gigi, from that same artist. Some big, some big paintings. Uh, lots of colors going on there. It's kind of medi medium dark there. I'm not what, what they were thinking on that one. And we don't know what uh, they were thinking on this one. This one. I think as an artist, you go through periods of a lot of emotions. And when you start painting, you put your emotions into the painting. But if you don't have a vision, then I, I don't know if it just comes out like whatever. But it makes sense to the artist's mind. It doesn't make sense to everybody else. Because when I look at some of the paintings, it's not making sense to him. So we had a really good time watching these pictures and stuff and walking around. And a bonus, it was free. It was free, only because they, they're putting this exhibit up and they yeah. changed the exhibit yes. every four months, which is very cool yes, that they is. do that. And uh, uh, the Manello Museum of American Art. Yes. And this here exhibit right now, from January 19th until March 18th, is by Grace Hardy Hardigan. Yes. I'm having yes. a hard trouble saying it. I need hooked on phonics. <laughs> Don't know. I'm rubbing off on him. <laughs> I'm using. We've needed hooked on phonics a couple times today, I think. But uh, we enjoyed doing these. The ladies this here were a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Ladies here were super nice, uh, yes. gave us information. We couldn't remember all the information, but uh, like I said, uh, it would have been cool once they get the placards up to tell you what these are called and what they were inspired by and yeah. all that. Uh, we have no information on the, on the exhibit at this point because it's not officially open. No, it's not. So we got a preview, that's kind of neat. But come on by and come visit because it was really neat to see some of these paintings. It's right here in Orlando, uh, and the link is going to be in the description. And uh, a lot of museums here in Orlando, Gigi, and uh, we've hit a few of them. I've hit some by myself. There's a big art community over in St. Petersburg, absolutely yes. incredible. 
and it's just a booming art community in Central Florida. Yeah, I really love it. I really like this one too. Yeah, this was a very nice one. We thought we would end it with a nice soft soft <laughs> soft painting yes. that's not harsh and dark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate all them subscribers out there clicking that subscribe button. Yes. And we're gonna keep going to unique spots. Off to our next one. And we're gonna uh, make it a great day out there, and you go out there and make it a great day because you deserve it, baby.